Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Philadelphia Eagles. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion. As I'll hand it over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Again, everyone, Brandon Gordon, along with the man who has had to stick with me all season long, Charles Davis. And Charles, the anticipation, the hype, the media coverage, all in the rear view mirror now. We can finally get down to playing some football. Yeah, don't worry about that part. I'll ride or die with you anytime. <laughs> you know that. But here's the best thing about this. Everyone talks about trying to keep things normal as they approach for Super Bowl. There is no such thing as normal. The pageantry, the hype, all of that is more intense than anyone could ever imagine. What you're trying to do is embrace it in one way and make sure it doesn't totally knock you off your game. That's why the night before the big one, teams often switch hotels, try and give those guys that last chance to breathe a little bit before they go out and play. After Joe Namath and the guarantee, we are underway in Super Bowl 53. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. They're led out by a man who started more Super Bowls than anyone in NFL history, the great Tom Brady. I can't help but admire the career Tom Brady has had. The numbers are off the charts. The Super Bowl championships and rings, we know that they are incredible. But how about the durability? Had one season that he missed, most of that season because of a knee injury. The rest of the time, he answers the bell and wills his team to victory more times than not. And when you go back and sum up the 2017 season and 2018 postseason with Tom Brady, started in his eighth Super Bowl game, and he's become just the second player in the four major U.S. sports to win an MVP award after the age of 40. Only Barry Bonds did it in Major League Baseball. And how about this for one little neat fact? Those two went to the exact same high school. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Back deep is Darren Sproles. This is brought in at the 21. Sproul so quick and agile. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And they'll be led out by their 6-5 quarterback out of North Dakota State. It's Carson Wentz. And what a blow it had to have been for Carson Wentz to realize his season was over after the injury in Los Angeles with his team just rolling at that point. Dreams of a Super Bowl in everyone's head. But as soon as the doctors cleared him, he made every quarterback meeting, every team meeting, spent extra time with Nick Foles, stayed involved with the team on the sidelines during games. He was probably their biggest supporter during their run to the Super Bowl. Never dropped his head, stayed involved. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. And they'll run it here. 
And some room to maneuver. Nifty footwork at the 45. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. And, and this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Eagles are able to cash it in for six. And he shows some mobility there, getting outside of the tackles, moving to the right, making a nice play. They had the whole field in front of him and was able to actually throw it about where he was looking, right? And he said he, said he moved to the right, had his vision there, and put a nice pass into the end zone for a touchdown. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So it's halftime here on Sport. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. Shrugs him off. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Burt has it left side. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Play action. Now wins. Dancing to his left. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. The veteran Jason McCourty there to make sure that one didn't find its target. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Now whistles blow, and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. Right back to him on first down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. Here we go, here we go. Working from the gun, Wentz sliding out of the pocket. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Back now here on EA Sports. 
It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. It happened in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee, and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Two running plays go backwards. So what's the call on third and 13 now? And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. They showed off a nice juke of the defender, but the next wave there to bring him down. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi Trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That The task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever. champs the Lombardi trophy is theirs and so are bragging rights for an entire season what a season it has been feels like we have been there every step of the way our entire crew doing a wonderful job thanks to my broadcast partner Charles Davis for all those guys I'm Brandon Gordon signing off we'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports